Christ. When we read Exodus chapter 14, verse 14, the Bible says, let me start reading from 15 and Exodus 14, verse 15. And Moses and the, and the Lord said to Moses, why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. Tell the children of Israel to go forward. God is saying that it doesn't matter what challenges, what opposition, what is threatening your life. The rest he was threatening. The rest he was before them. Behind them were the Egyptian Pharaoh's army. Besides them were mountains. They were sandwiched between each problems, challenges. And some of us are sandwiched in our homes. There's no peace. We go to work. There's no peace in our sleep itself. Our dreams, it's not peaceful. In our health, we are not having peace of mind because we are having issues and problems. We are dealing with it emotionally, physical challenges, and so many things are going on around us. But in spite of this, God says, march forward. I came to prophesy to somebody that you feel like you are sandwiched between issues and problems and challenges and you want to quit. You want to give up. So they were crying to God, Oh Lord, have you brought us all the way out of Egypt only to cause us to die in this wilderness facing this giant Red Sea? Is this how you are ending with us? When they were thinking God was going to abandon them, forsake them, and leave them for doom and destruction, God says, I didn't bring you this far to leave you this way. I didn't bring you this far to leave you this way god has not brought you this far to cause you to be defeated god has not brought you this far he didn't let you get this job for you to end up this way he didn't let you buy that house for you to lose it he didn't get you low, cause you to get married for you to be abused this way he didn't bring you this far for you to be hanging and now you are calling upon him and you, he doesn't even listen no no that's not a god and god says that though you have come to the breaking point and you feel like quitting but I'm saying to you, you are crying to me, but I'm, I, I'm telling you, move forward. How do, you, how, do I, how do I move forward when the rest is before me? Are you telling me to confront something which has the potential of killing and destroying me? God says, move forward. And somebody, God says, move forward. Yes, there's an opposition. Move forward. Yes, there are enemies. Move forward. Yes, there have been defeats in the past, but move forward. Yes, there are challenges, hardships, and difficulties. But God says, move forward with the vision. Move forward with your dreams. Move forward and you will express God. And the Lord said to Moses, why do you cry to me? You've been crying too much. You've been waiting, wailing too much. Tell the children of Israel to go forward. But lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea. Lift up your rod. The rod can be a significance of the word of God. And stretch forth it. You are stretching forth. Your, you have the rod of God's word and you are stretching it forth by faith. And when you do, you take the word of God, you take the word of God and you stretch it by activating your faith towards the mountainous Red Sea. It has no option but to hear the, the word of the Lord and part into two. Take the rod, take the rod, take the word of God you've heard. Take the word of God through the Bible. St stretch it by faith that I can make it. I will do it. I will overcome I will excel. I will prosper. I will not die. I will survive. I will overcome. I will come through this. Lift up your rod and stretch out your hands over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry grounds through the midst of the sea. And indeed, I will harden the heart of the Egyptians. So God was telling them that if you can do this and stretch forth your feet, you shall see my salvation. Now I want us to read verse 14. And the Lord, verse 14, says, let's start from 13. Exodus 14, verse 13. And Moses said to the people, do not be afraid. Stand still. Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see again no more forever. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. The Lord, this Pharaoh, who is intimidating, threatening, 
trying to exterminate and destroy your life. This battle with Pharaoh is no more your battle, but the battle belongs to the Lord. I came to prophesy to you by the prophetic word of the Lord that whoever has risen up, whatever has risen up against you before the end of this week, this month, as you believe and stretch forth the word and stretch forth your faith towards that issue, that problem, God will fight for you. God will fight for you. God will fight for you. Only be still. Do not be afraid. Only be still. Do not be afraid. Only be still. Do not be intimidated. Only be still. Do not worry. Only be still. Do not be stressing. Do not be panicking. Only be still and have faith. Have confidence. Trust in Jehovah and trust in his holy word, his promises. Stretch forth the rod. Stretch forth your faith. Believe that God will bring you up and out. Believe that God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Believe that God will not allow your enemies to prevail over you stretch forth your faith and you shall see the salvation of the lord do not be afraid stand still and see the salvation of the lord i pray for you that this week you shall see the salvation of the lord before the end of this week you shall see the salvation of the lord before the end of this month you shall see the salvation of the lord before the end within 24 hours within 48 hours within 72 hours somebody you shall see the salvation of the lord god will intervene and there shall be intervention in your situation and god will turn situation around in your favor here he the word of the Lord. Hold on to it and you shall see the salvation of the Lord that you see today. It is now happening tomorrow. Today, you shall see the salvation of the Lord today, which he will accomplish for you today. Which he will accomplish for you when? Today. Today is your day of deliverance. Today is your day of healing. Today is your day of blessing. Today is your day of breakthrough. Today is your day of salvation. Today is your day of healing, deliverance, restoration. Today is your day of open door. Today is the day that you God is going to test situations around for you to come out of that bondage that chains that shackles that attack today is the day that god is causing you to receive that breakthrough that miracle in the name of jesus christ for the egyptians you see today you shall see them no more forever I prophesy to you, you are not entering into next tomorrow. You are not entering into next week. You are not entering into next month with this same issue. God is resolving the problem today. God is re resolving the issue today. God is healing you today. God is healing somebody right now. God is delivering somebody right now. The curse is being broken today. Barrenness is broken today. Cancer is leaving you today. Goiter is leaving you today. Pain is leaving you today. Marital crisis is leaving you today. That singleness is leaving you today. Whatever is holding you in bondage is breaking loose from your life today. Joblessness is leaving you today. Delay, stagnation, retrogression, bad dreams is leaving you today. That sleeplessness, sleepless nights, on insomnia, inability to sleep. God is breaking the yoke out of your life today. That bleeding, that painful menses is breaking loose off your life now in the name of Jesus. That stomach cramps and stomach pain is loosing you right now. That pain in your breast is leaving you now. That spinal pain is leaving you now. That problem with your eyes is leaving you now. That problem with your ears is leaving you now. That flu, that acne is leaving you you are having issue with acne you've taken all medications and it's not leaving you it is losing you now every demonic satanic witchcraft oppression affliction on your life is breaking loose off your life now in the name of jesus christ doors are opening to you today favor doors help is coming to you today for the chief shirts you see today you shall see them no more forever the lord will fight for you and you shall have your peace the lord shall fight for you the lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace may god fight for you may jesus fight for you may god fight for you and cause you to hold your peace in victory in jesus name it is settled in heaven it is done say amen to it amen i receive it thank you lord thank you jesus it is settled thank you lord Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and amen and amen. We thank God for making it possible for us to see this new year, 2024. God will surely do a new thing in your life this year. This year, your dreams and visions shall all become a reality by the special grace and mercies of God in Jesus' name. Join Minister Esther L. Blessing to say thank you to Jesus with her new single titled, Say Thank You. 
You can now watch and listen to this inspirational song at Minister Esther Word's YouTube channel. Please subscribe to Minister Esther Word YouTube channel to watch and listen to this anointed inspirational song. You will surely be blessed. Wishing you a happy and a prosperous new year full of God's favor and blessings. Remain blessed.